Consider these two sets of numbers. Set A contains the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, while set B contains the numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6. Since 3 and 4 are common to both sets, these sets are overlapping. Therefore, on a Venn diagram, the circles overlap partially. The common elements will lie within the overlapping region. How do we represent A intersection B on this Venn diagram? A intersection B is the set that contains elements that are common to both A and B. This region contains elements 1 and 2, which are in set A only. This region contains elements 5 and 6, which are in set B only. Therefore, we do not shade these two regions. This overlapping region contains elements that are common to both sets, which are 3 and 4. Therefore, this is the region we want to shade. When two sets are overlapping, their intersection is represented by shading the overlapping region. What if we have two sets that are disjoint instead of overlapping? Study these two sets. Set A contains the even numbers 2, 4, 6, and 8, while set B contains the odd numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7. On the Venn diagram, they are represented by two non-overlapping circles. To represent A intersection B, again, we go back to the definition of intersection. A intersection B contains elements that are common to both sets. Observe that there are no common elements. Elements of set A are only in set A and not in set B. Similarly, elements of set B are only in set B and not in set A. Since there is no common element, their intersection is an empty set. Hence, there is no region to shade, unlike the overlapping sets that we saw just now. Therefore, when sets A and B are disjoint, their intersection is represented by not shading any region. Next, we look at the final scenario, where one set is a subset of the other. Consider these two sets. Set A contains the prime numbers 2, 3, and 5, while set B contains the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Since each element of set A is also in set B, set A is a subset of set B. On a Venn diagram, these sets are represented as two unequal circles where the smaller circle represents set A and lies inside the bigger circle, which is set B. Again, remember that A intersection B contains elements that are common to both A and B. Because set A is a subset of set B, every element of set A is common to both sets. In addition, Set B also contains some elements that are not in set A. Therefore, their intersection is represented by shading the circle for set A. Take a minute to illustrate the following using Venn diagrams. Let's review. First, write out the sets in a tabular form to see all the elements. Set A contains the even numbers 2, 4, 6, and 8. Set B contains the first 9 natural numbers. And set C contains the odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Observe that A is a subset of B. This is the resulting Venn diagram. A intersection B will contain elements that are common to set A and set B. So, set A will be shaded. Now, notice that sets A and C have no common elements. 
They are disjoint sets. Therefore, their circles do not overlap. A intersection C will then be an empty set, so no region will be shaded. Note that we always include the universal set in our Venn diagrams, since all sets are subsets of the universal set. In summary, the intersection of sets A and B is the set that contains the elements that are common to both A and B. When two sets are overlapping, we shade the overlapping region. When two sets are disjoint, we do not shade any region. When one set is a subset of another, we shade the smaller circle.